The availability of guns at Walmart has become a hotly debated issue. Has it? With who? People who don't shop at Walmart? Well, people uh, on the left absolutely are saying this because right. there was a shooting at Walmart, as you know, mm -hmm. which in which I believe Walmart was directly targeted specifically because they are too capitalist and cause pollution. But that's mm -hmm. a whole other point. Right. Um, and because they had a shooting at a Walmart, obviously, can you believe they will still sell guns? Yeah, no, I, mm. I really can't. So Walmart. So here comes the left. They decide that they're going to go into Walmart. Business Insider is going to send somebody undercover to go in and show America just how easy it is to buy a gun. Mm. Yeah, they. Uh, she, this is a uh, Haley Peterson. She went in and she said, my journey to bring a gun home from Walmart was more complicated than I expected. <laughs> no. And I was left with the impression that the company takes gun security and sales seriously. Shut up. Now, first of all, you'd think this is, is strange, right? Because when you hear it from the media, anyone can order a gun on the internet. And it just gets no, delivered I, to your I house. Can I tell you? I went into Walmart. It was a Tuesday. Now, I had to wait mm -hmm. until the afternoon. I mean, they made me wait like an hour. I went in at like 11.59, mm -hmm. and it took me until like 12.15 to buy a thermonuclear device. Really? Uh, it's so easy. And it's great because you can they get... They don't sell those online, though? Uh, you have to go into no, the store? No, you have to go into the store. Oh, you, I mean, but it's great. I mean, if you know, I stop by and get, you know, like a, you know, a, a cutoff tank... Uh, you know, tank top, not a tank. They don't sell tanks. That's ridiculous. But you get the tank top and you get the thermonuclear device. Unfortunately, they do sell tank tops, which uh, that is something I, that I, I would I would have support and, an amendment to ban tank right, tops I, from at I, least certain people. You know, for guys, especially. Yeah. Guys, especially. Um, uh, we don't want to see it. And a good chunk of women. There's a good... There's a percentage I could name of women that also should not be wearing tank tops. We can get into that in a more detailed numerical conversation. I'll break out the spreadsheets. We can go through them. Okay. Uh, but the percentage isn't particularly high yes, of the okay. availability for yes, those. Yes, okay. All right. It's mm -hmm. not a constitutional yes. right. Tank tops, right. tube tops, not constitutional I rights. I get it. Let's get that clear. Right. Okay. So she tries to, on August 13th, goes to walmart.com. This is where you start when you want to buy a gun in this country because it's very easy to buy a gun in this country. All you have to do is roll on down to the internet and you type it in and they send you all sorts. They send you a whole arsenal. That's what we're told by the media. She goes on August 13th to find which one of the 10 Walmart, Walmart stores near her sells guns. Mm -hmm. Just not, not to actually get the gun on the internet, but just to find out from the website where she can get guns. Uh, well, they didn't have any answers on there. The only website, uh, the only thing they had on the website were air guns, which of course are non-lethal, as she points out. Which, yes, yes, air guns are non-lethal. That is, that is accurate. I, okay, I, are you sure? Pretty sure. Well, okay. I guess if you... Yeah, I mean, it's probably possible to kill yourself with an air gun, but well, very difficult. Would it's you also, try? Would you just try just for science? For science, would you try? I will not. Okay. I will All not. Right. Uh, well, the only let guns the suicide rates continue to rise. Right. <laughs> uh, so they decided to go to, um, uh, she's placed a dozen calls mm -hmm. to multiple stores, mm -hmm. waited on hold for 40 minutes, mm -hmm. got through to a human three times. Mm -hmm. Three Walmart employees told me they didn't know which stores sold guns in the area. Mm -hmm. So again, we're told that Walmart is supplying guns to all these killers. It's hard for her, this reporter to even find one. Then uh, they finally went to the main customer service line mm -hmm. and spoke to someone who said also that they could not help. <laughs> When it comes to availability, they don't want us to discuss that for various reasons, he said. He declined to elaborate on this and said he knew of at least one location near me that didn't sell guns, which she crossed off the list. That's not necessary. There's like, hey, there's one near you that doesn't do it. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> that's not... That's not helpful. That's, it's a, well, it's also a violation of, you know, look, we don't want to give out this information for various reasons because you might be a nut job on the phone. I don't know who I'm talking about, but I'll tell you there's one that doesn't <laughs> right. sell it, and it's the one I'm in right now. And maybe that was the way they were trying <laughs> to be helpful. Right. Uh, the customer service representative advised them to call each store individually to find out whether it sold guns. Of course, she had already tried that. It was not helpful. Now, this is not exactly a commercial for Walmart customer service. I will say this. Right. But it is kind of a commercial for the fact that they take guns seriously. Finally, they got to a place, she got to a place in Virginia, transferred to the sporting, go sporting goods department, where a woman on the line confirmed that they could buy a gun there. Store was 30 minutes away. She got in her car and went to the uh, Walmart. Um, on the way to uh, this, the gun department, she walked by school supplies. Oh my gosh. Look They're at Walmart. selling guns okay. and school supplies in the same store. That's unbelievable. 
They also sell lingerie. So they are, uh, this, I'm just guessing, but some sort of pedophile gun sex fantasy with backpacks. I don't know what right, it is, but that's weird. what's happening. Something I'm pretty weird. sure. Ask the Young Turks. Now, one of the really interesting parts of this mm -hmm. is the ability to find a gun through Walmart was very difficult for this reporter. Mm. However, after she was done with the story, she called uh, the ATF and found, or she called Walmart and they pointed her to the ATF, the government, which has a list of all the stores you can go buy guns. So huh. the government will give you the information on where to buy guns, but the evil Walmart corporation <laughs> that all they want to do is profit off of mass killings, they won't even tell you where to buy them. We got to give more power to the government right. because they'll keep us safe. <laughs> Hi, ATF. You want to buy a gun? <laughs> uh, they, she got to the store, went by the school supplies, the toy department, mm. and the bike shop. Oh, my. Mm. All, what do they all have in common? Children. Oh, I was thinking products sold in Walmart. Okay, yeah, that's true, okay. too. A selection of about 20 rifles and shotguns were displayed in a locked glass case behind the sporting goods counter. Mm. The guns ranged in just price... Just sitting there in a locked case. Just out there in the just open out there for in the you open. to see, though, behind locked glass. Wow. 159 to $474 was the pricing. Wow, that's pretty um, good. The counter in front of the guns displayed pocket knives, binoculars, digital night vision, blah, blah, blah. Mm. A selection of guns was limited compared to nearby gun stores, which offer dozens of different kinds of firearms. That's because Walmart isn't a gun store. Right? Like they're just, they're, they've got some basics there. Um, so uh, Walmart raised the minimum age to purchase a gun or ammunition to 21. They did that, uh, I think that was last year. Um, Walmart also sells a firearm only after receiving a green light on a background check, while federal law requires only the absence of a red light after three business days. Um, we videotaped the point of sale for firearms, only allow certain associates to sell firearms and secure firearms in a locking case with individual locks, among other measures, says Walmart. Uh, she then went on to figure out that, um, uh, that, uh, they do have air guns pellet guns and bb guns mm -hmm. but they are designed apparently glenn to be non-lethal you I, I, i'm still i've seen a documentary about putting an eye out that's right it was it was, it was cold it was mothers Christmas. against guns something right and he wanted a gun and she was saying you're gonna put an eye out and it was true and he did and he had to wear glasses the rest of his life yeah very and tragic now he's producing Although, Iron Man movies. My understanding that was actually an icicle that, that, uh, that did that. that. Yeah, I think right. so. Um, we estimate about 2% of the market of firearms today um, was uh, sold at Walmart, 20% of ammunition sales. Um, before they left the store, they, the manager offered to remove a rifle from the case for her to, uh, to inspect, if you believe that. Uh, she did that. Uh, another 30 minutes, uh, she would finally get to successfully uh, purchased the firearm after she drove uh, to another store and had to fill out the paperwork, which apparently there is. They asked her her name, her address, and her social security number, her race, because mm. they won't sell to black people, obviously, mm. gender. Mm. I'm surprised. I hope she identified as a man because they won't sell to women. Mm. And U.S. citizenship status, which is mm. unbelievable. Mm. Why the hate? Why can't we sell guns to illegal immigrants? Illegal immigrants. You mean just immigrants? I mean, you mean, I mean good, undocumented people. You mean people who are... There's some people who don't need documentation. No human is illegal. Have we pointed that yeah. out today? Uh, I won't pay We just sure. did. Mm -hmm. Under a section called Certificate of Transferee, it asked about my criminal record, whether I've mm. ever been convicted of a felony, wow. subject to a restraining order, or prohibited from pur purchasing a firearm, among other specifics. Mm. Uh, untruthful answers may subject you to criminal prosecution. Again, she's still trying to get this gun. Um, she left this and again she's surprised that this is this like is this is news yeah because that's this is what the media tells you that you can walk in and anyone right. can buy like a nuclear weapon and anybody it's not true. anybody who knows I just I just bought a gun uh, just bought a gun gosh what's the name of the store I think it was I think it was uh, I don't want to say but I, I just bought a, a gun in Utah and I live in Idaho and uh, you know, there's just there's there was there were, there are no stores like that in in Idaho where I live. There's nothing. It's like whoa. <laughs> there's no uh, stores. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> there's there's nothing. Like there's anything. cows. Right. Okay, so I went down and uh, and you know everybody knows me. Every, every you know I'm I'm clearly not a danger to society unless you know you're a journalist in New York and then you think I am. Um, 
Uh, but everybody knows me. I have no problem when they said they came to me and said, "Oh crap, you're in Idaho," and I said, "Yeah." I said, "Ah, oh, I'm in Utah," because uh, it was just right across the border. Yes. Okay, so what does that mean? You can't buy it today. You got to wait. We have to transfer it to Idaho. Somebody there is going to have to pick it up. That's a firearms dealer. You're going to have to meet them tomorrow yeah. or the next day. It was all kinds of stuff. I wasn't pissed. No, I mean, everybody I know, everybody I know is that buys a gun is pissed at the people who say that there is such a problem. You can get these things so easily that we need more hassles in our life. They, they have never, for instance, this woman, she's reporting on the very basic, you can't buy, I've never been able to buy a gun without that, without filling out all that paperwork. Sure. You don't buy a gun without that. And she's announcing this on Business Sider, like, look at what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like they're taking it serious. Yes, yeah. that's every place you buy a gun. 